I'm Phil Bolton with the Global Atlanta News Service, and today I'm in Alpharetta at the uh, North American headquarters of Voslo Kieper. And I'm with the CEO, Mr. Klaus Romer. Uh, thank you for having us at your facility, Mr. Romer. You are very welcome, Phil. You've been in Atlanta now for quite a while. I understand you came first with Siemens. That is correct. And you are now with Voslo Keeper. Uh, what is Voslo Keeper doing in Atlanta? Uh, Voslo Keeper established uh, its manufacturing facility here in Alpharetta or in Atlanta uh, in order to supply uh, propulsion systems for light rail vehicles or trolley buses to the North American market. Is it a good idea for Atlanta to get light rail downtown? I definitely would think that uh, uh, the city of Atlanta is in uh, desperate need to put a system in. Uh, I think uh, that they should look at it a little bit uh, uh, larger term than uh, just a couple miles they presently have proposed. There is certainly some thoughts about uh, coming further north uh, with the extension. But I think the uh, whole light rail system, it will, where I'm sitting right now, will take too long to finally get off the ground and get going. There's some other thoughts about putting in some system, systems down south of Atlanta, but that is in the, in the discussion stages at this point in time. And, uh, you know, we will have to see what the future brings and also what the funding will be. Do you think that the United States is waking up to the possibilities of public <coughs> transportation? I guess I definitely uh, believe that with the funding which was uh, just released for some of the uh, high-speed uh, rail project, that there is uh, a sign there that the United States uh, will focus more on the transportation, the public transportation in the future. Uh, but, you know, we need to get more cities involved, get going with the uh, uh, inner city light rail vehicles or, or bus transportation, whatever it may be, whatever is uh, the best way for the city itself and what is the most economic situation for the uh, cities. How about in terms of uh, U.S. legislation? Uh, we hear about the Buy America Act. Is that um, a concern of yours or uh, do you just have to be very alert to its demands? No, I don't think that the actual uh, Buy America is a big concern to us because uh, we as a company, uh, that's why we are here in, in, in Alpharetta, Georgia, have made a commitment to comply with the Buy America requirement all the way. And we understand that fully and uh, we are in full support of it. Okay, So it's not a problem for us because some of the component suppliers are here in the United States and uh, the key to the overall system is the systems integration and the systems engineering. That's where the engineering know-how from Europe certainly will help the U.S. because, uh, uh, you know, there is a, they have such a large installed base and, and, and experience they can draw on uh, that it is much easier. As you look forward uh, six months to a year, how do you think your operations here will evolve? Well, this operation will, will evolve uh, uh, certainly much uh, uh, faster uh, and uh, we are working currently on, on some projects uh, uh, which are going to be awarded uh, here over the next three, four months and uh, we will be in about uh, six to 12 months, uh, we will be in full swing here at this, this location where I can look at uh, perhaps 50% uh, uh, recovery of this facility. And that would involve how many employees, for instance? That would involve, at that point in time, uh, roughly about 30 to 40 employees. And is Atlanta a good place for you to be uh, opening this operation? You could be in New England, you could be on the West Coast. Why is it that you're here? Uh, why are we here in Atlanta? Is, uh, the reason for that is, first of all, the uh, labor force is here at an economical a wage, uh, that's uh, certainly one point. Uh, we do have uh, local tax advantages here in, in the area. And then uh, uh, the, the most important point for me is uh, quick access to customers or to my engineering sources, uh, which are in Germany. And if I look at uh, uh, Hartsfield International Airport, 
uh, where I quickly can reach any city in Europe where I want to be in, in overnight, so to speak. It's, it's very, very easy to, to connect to. And I can be very easy at any location in the United States, main city where my customers are, to uh, visit them at any time. What do you think is the best mix between automobiles, light rail, uh, train systems? Uh, how, how do you see the ideal mix? Well, that, that uh, all is depending upon the demographics of a certain area, and I don't think that there is uh, a specific answer for a specific city. They all have to look at their own uh, demographics and, and what people, the most important uh, uh, factor for transportation sy systems is that it's not going to cost too much money. What is a ridership? If the ridership is high, and the system is utilized very well. Take Portland, for example, is another excellent uh, uh, city for, for uh, transportation. Uh, if the ridership is very high, then the uh, uh, system funds itself and uh, you know, the taxpayer doesn't have to, to uh, flip the bill for it uh, at the end of the day, like it happened in Atlanta with the bus transportation and so on. Mm -hmm. And that's when people uh, certainly look at the economics and shut down systems. So there's a psychological aspect too. It, there's a functional aspect, but people have to be willing to uh, leave the car at home. <laughs> to leave the car at home. Yes, that's, that's certainly certainly correct. And and the the the, uh, the other aspect of it is the uh, transportation system just needs to be a little bit faster than your own vehicle. Okay, so it, and I think there is uh, uh, lots of rooms for improvement here in Atlanta and the surrounding areas. I believe with some of the funding which has been released over the last uh, uh, year uh, that, that cities and uh, politicians are looking more and more at uh, public transportation, but at the end of the day it's still not there where we can compare to any European type situation.